with 15 bars, 50,000 visitors, and more than 800 real ales, ciders, and beers from around the world. Welcome to the biggest pub in the world. It's the Great British Beer Festival Beer Cast. And here's your host, Mark Phillips. Day two of the Great British Beer Festival, and we're already well underway. If you look down behind me, you can see loads of people enjoying themselves already. Yesterday, the festival opened, and there were some very incendiary remarks by Greg Mulholland MP. The Olympics organisers could have chosen from any one of 840 British breweries brewing over five and a half thousand British beers. It's They're a disgrace, an utter disgrace, that Locog chose a fizzy, bland, foreign lager to be the official beer. And you, brewers, you are our world champions, you are our medal winners, and you are our beer Olympians, and we salute you. Give them the biggest cheer of all. Greg Mulholland MP, and he joins me now, uh, Chairman of the uh, All Party Save the Pubs group in the Commons, I believe. Indeed, that's right, Mark. Uh, I take it you're not a big fan of Mr Osborne at the moment, then? Um, I just think on this issue that the Treasury are not listening, and that it's actually self-defeating having the, the continuation of the beer duty escalator. Uh, it simply doesn't bring in the amount of tax revenue that the Treasury predicts as well as unfortunately making it tough for our brewers um, and of course uh, damaging for pubs because it makes it less attractive for people to go and have a pint. So you're saying in other words that because beer has become so expensive it's actually becoming counterproductive so it's actually um, pe people are staying away from pubs rather than buying more beer? Well, I, think, I think clearly there are, there are various issues with regard to pub closures, there are, there are many that, uh, that are particularly problematic, the differential between supermarket pricing and pub pricing the, uh, the very negative influence of the, the big pub companies, but the fact that beer duty takes you know a, a third of a of, of the cost of a pint. Um, now we have pints, particularly in London, of uh, you know 350, even slightly higher than that in central London. Um, you know it's going to put people off, and we want people to go to their pubs. We've seen during the Olympics who actually want to go and watch. I watched Jessica Ennis and Mo Farah winning their event in a pub and the atmosphere was fantastic. You're, you're part of a community celebrating that together. We're in danger um, of losing that if we, if we don't address some of these issues. So what does the Save the Pub campaign in the Commons actually do? Because I would imagine that uh, some MPs are far more dedicated to, to beer and pubs than others. We have a very strong group of MPs in, in Parliament and the whole point of the, the Save the Pub group and the reason that we formed is that we realised there was a, a need for a campaigning group in Parliament, which is what we are. And we're there to campaign on the, the various issues that are damaging to the pub. And we've had some successes already, as, uh, as camera have over the years. There's a lot still to do, uh, but there is a very strong and uh, vocal group of people who, yes, are very passionate about local pubs. And we want action, and the trouble is that we have too much talk and we have too much uh, more words we want action to actually deal with some of these issues. Now we've got the online campaign we're trying to go for a hundred thousand signatures if that happens I believe then it does actually get to the floor of the house is that right? Absolutely there will be a full debate on the floor of the house in backbench business committee time so that would be very exciting and it, it would then I hope be on a, a, a motion we could vote on which would be abolishing the beer duty escalator and I think we'd get a lot of support um, for doing that. There was a debate recently, which was only an adjournment debate for half an hour, by one MP, Gavin Williamson, and yet lots and lots of other MPs from all sides of the House all came to chip in, which is very unusual. The debate was actually at midnight, but I think that shows actually people are aware of, of this issue and the importance of, of pubs. Um, and, you know, we, we, we really need to keep the, the campaign going, and Cameron are doing a fantastic job leading this campaign and driving it. And I hope that people during the course of these wonderful few days of GBBF will all sign this petition. If you do manage, if Cameron manages to get these 100,000 people and there is a debate, ultimately will that actually change anything though? Because I can imagine that uh, the Chancellor will just turn around and say, I need that revenue, I need to have that money. Well, of course, the country is in a very difficult situation. I mean, there's no two ways about it. And, you know, there, there are no easy answers to that. There are having to be difficult decisions made. But I think the thing with beer duty 
is it's actually counterproductive. It isn't bringing in the amount of revenue that's predicted because it does have a, an effect of you know, dissuading people from going to pubs, from having a pint in their local. And of course, is one of the factors that actually can damage pubs trade and lead to them closing. So, you know, we need to get that message across. Actually, it could be a real boost for British Brewing and British pubs to get rid of duty escalator, and that's the message that we're putting out, and actually that's a very positive one. Greg Mulholland, thanks very much for joining us on The Beercast. Thank you. So here's the question. Are people choosing to drink at home instead of going to their local? We asked some festival visitors, home or pub? Well, at the brewery, then in the pub, and then at home. Um, in the pub for me, definitely. Uh, I would drink it in the pub more than at home. Yes. You? I do both equally. At the pub. <laughs> in the pub. I drink at home and I drink at the pub. Yeah, um, uh, mainly in the pub. Mainly in the pub, mainly in the pub. Well, I think we both drink beer at home and in the pub. Uh, I normally drink beer at home and in the pub. Uh, both, actually. I normally drink at home and at the bar. Home. <laughs> Generally in the pub, but I won't say no to beer at home either. In the pub. Totally in the pub. At the pub, if I can. Uh, in the pub. I, n- I normally drink beer at home and in the pub, but usually when I drink it at home, I get it from the pub first. Uh, normally at the pub. In the pub. I normally drink at the pub because it's my home. Join the conversation. On Twitter, it's hashtag GBBF. On Facebook, it's facebook.com slash Great British Beer Festival. You can email beercast1 at gmail.com or visit gbbf.org.uk.